Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, bam, here we have a Sony Xperia M2. And weirdly enough, a phone from 2014. Not too much people know it, but here it is. This phone is currently running Android 4.4 KitKat here. You can see there are 4.4.4 KitKat right here. Now, in this video, we're gonna do something that I don't really wanna do, but I want I have to do it, and that is upgrading this phone to Android 5.1.1, aka its latest firmware. Why would I do that? Well, because I would like to root this phone, root and put a custom recovery on it, and install a custom firmware to it as well. Even though I actually like the aesthetics of the old Xperia UI, man, I like the aesthetics and all these things, you know, I, I, it's screwing on me, all right? But unfortunately, we have to update it because I tried to flash twerp, all right? I tried to flash twerp so I can create an Android backup. I want to create an Android backup of Android 4 and Android 5, but I can't do that, unfortunately, because to flash twerp, you have to update to Android 5, and Android 4.4 and Android 5 has a different some kind of modem issues that I want to try to flash it. It would just say fail, blah, 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 I'll put the screen recording right there. Now, you guys may be thinking, well, why can't I use the software update? Well, the software update doesn't work. The server is down and Sony is no longer making phones in Indonesia since the Xperia Z5. So there you go, All right? I'm gonna use Windows 7 in this video because I tried using this using Windows 11 and it doesn't work. Maybe work with Windows 10, but I don't have a Windows 10 computer no more because I updated to Windows 11. So we're gonna do this on Windows 7. All right, so without any further ado, let's go straight to the video. All right, guys, now the first thing I'm gonna do here is we're gonna check uh, is our phone bootloader is allowed by Sony itself to be unlocked so to check on that we're gonna go to the phone app here and then we're gonna type in star dash star dash seven three seven eight four two three dash star dash star okay now we're gonna open up this service app we're gonna tap it on service info we're gonna tap it on configuration here all right now you should be setting there the root on the routing status bootloader unlock allowed yes which is you get good to go but if it says no that i'm sorry that you guys are not allowed to root your or unlock your phone's bootloader all right okay guys now once you know that your phone bootloader is allowed to be unlocked by mr sony we'll go to this website on your computer right here which i will link in the description down below basically it is a website developed by sony because sony you know unlike other android company they are supporting aosp let's scroll down here and then we're gonna find out here unlock device now as you can see here we got dual sim device have two imea numbers use imea once in order to get the correct unlock code so later on we're gonna use our imea one because like i said this is for the xperia m2 dual select our device we're gonna go and scroll here until we find the xperia m2 okay there's still the dual but the M normal M2 should do the same here. Let's go to M2. Now there's something that is important here. So as you can see right there, uh, the important note says that in order to unlock your Xperia M2, you need to be on, on software version 18.3.c.0.37. And the version of Android that is Sony claiming on this website is actually Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, which is the first version that is shipped with this M2. So this website hasn't been updated since that Android 4.3 version. Meanwhile, this phone got 4.4 and 5.1.1. But don't worry, all right, do not worry. You can still unlock your bootloader above this version, okay? What this page tells us is to enter our SIM1 IMEI, all right? So to find out your IMEI, I think everybody already knows this. So we're gonna go to the phone app again here. Star dash zero six dash. There we go, that's our IMEI. Pick the IMEI one here. Okay, now once you enter IMEI, I'm gonna check on this. I acknowledge that I may void the warranty because this phone is definitely still on warranty. Sony Service Center definitely still exists in my country. Click on submit. Do this chill chapter things. Okay, now it says it's generating code. Okay, now there is our unlock code right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're gonna go into the fast boot mode. Now how to do that is we're gonna press on the volume up button while we connect our phone to the computer, right? So once you connect it, phone will power up, you will see the red LED light suddenly turn blue. Once you see the blue LED, you're good to go. Okay, so here's the part where I'm using my Windows 7 computer here because uh, the Sony ADB drivers, which is the drivers that we need to flash the unlock code and to flash all the things later on, does not work on Windows 11. So here, what I do here is I go to uh, Device Manager. You can see there the drivers cannot be found. Now the drivers only work for me in Windows 7, which again 
uh, if you guys have the same issue because it will not install automatically like Samsung and all these phones, I will link the uh, fast boot drivers in the description down below. So like I said, it will work with Windows 7 and Windows, I'm not so sure with Windows 10, but I can guarantee you that it will not work with Windows 11. Okay, next I will link a universal EDB installer in the description down below. Once you install those things, open up your command prompt and now type in fastboot space devices to check if our phone is connected to fastboot. And then next, when I type in fastboot space OEM space unlocks space zero X and then immediately without any space followed by your code that to unlock your bootloader. Okay, the next thing is we're gonna install the flash tool by Androx CDE. So thank you Androx CD for the tools. We're gonna go ahead and download the latest version here now. Since we are upgrading this one to Android 5.1.1, I will also link the 5.1.1 ROM in the description down below. It is from my country region though, Indonesian, but if you guys want to install a custom ROM anyway, it should doesn't really matter. Okay, so it will work with the, the version D2302, all right? So once you download all those tools here, go to your start and open up Flash Tool 64. And right now it should say that please wait a minute, it will try to load some stuff from the Android, Android CD GitHub page. Just wait for a moment until all those things load. Okay, now once all those things are loaded here, you can see my device is connected in fast boot. You guys don't have to, all right? Click on the little lightning icon there, click on flash mode, hit okay. Now you can cl click on the little three dots at the top, locate your Xperia M2 folder here. So you can see this is my folder. All right, now click this little arrow in the teeny tiny corner here until you see that little 18.6a blah, blah, blah right there. Click on the check mark for user data because we have to delete our user data and everything and then click on flash. Now, once you're flashing from fast boot or normal mode, it will ask us to go to flash mode in our phone. So we're going to do exactly by the graph that it shows by going on to powering off the phone, pressing the volume down button and then plugging in our USB cable. All right, now we're facing another problem here that the flash mode drivers are not able to install. So there is a find a quick fix on how to install it. You gotta go to the flash tool 64 file location programs. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and click on drivers and install the fast build drivers that is already on the application folder here. Check mark the flash mode and fast build drivers. You guys don't really have to check mark for all the phones. It will work, all right? And then just go ahead and install the fast boot drivers here. All right, once you install the fast boot driver, we're gonna go back to the program, flash mode, and then find your Xperia M2 firmware. Go ahead and click little, little, little arrows until you find the build number here. Remember to click on user data, flash, and now the flashing method should work now. Now, if you guys stuck on one process here where the loading bar does not go at all, what you're gonna do here, just you're gonna restart the program and plug in and unplug your phone again and now it should be working the flashing all right All right, now our updating process is complete. Now we're gonna download Twerbo version 3.5 for our beloved M2. Okay, now we're gonna go to our command prompt here and then we're gonna type in fast boot devices to check if our phone is detected with the computer. And it is. Next, we're gonna type in fast boot flash recovery and then we're gonna go ahead and drag our recovery file from the zip that we unextract immediately to the command prompt like so. And then we hit entry. All right, next thing I'm gonna do here is gonna update our bootloader files, guys. I have a link down in the description down below. Go ahead and download that. Once you download that, go ahead and open up your C drive, the users folder, your name, and the dot flash tool folder that will be shown right there, right? You open that folder up, go to the firmware folder, and just copy the file to that firmware folder right there. It's a bit weird that you have to update your bootloader, but I tried it without updating it. It won't work, but after updating it, it just suddenly works to boot to recovery, right? Now we're gonna flash it. We're gonna go and open up our flash tool 6.4 here. I have two flash tool here, but I'm pretty sure the 6.4 one that we used to flash Android 5 will just work, all right? Now we're gonna go ahead and click on the lightning icon, go to flash mode. Now you can see there our .ftf file is already waiting for us right there. Now we're in the gonna go ahead and boot up your phone to the flash mode uh, by holding down the volume down button and plugging it to the USB. 
Alright, to boot to recovery mode, all you have to do is press the volume down button and the power button at the same time. Once you see or hear the phone vibrate, let release the volume down button and keep holding the power button, alright? You know you succeed when you see the Sony logo, not the Sony Xperia text on the bottom, just the Sony logo. That's when you know you boot to twerp. Alright guys, so we successfully unlocked the phone's bootloader even though I don't really want to update it to Android 5.1.1 because i am be honest with y'all, the 5.1.1 is a bit laggy on this phone but hey, we got custom ROM. I think we get Android 8.1 though, so not a lot of development on this phone, 7.1.1. 8.1 I think but I don't know the box it I still have to try it out yet but yeah the latest ROM for this phone is Android 8.1 thank you guys for watching this video a uh, little uh, change of content here of Android phones comment like subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next video peace